Welcome back to our ASC C1 test preparation. We've been talking previously about communicating with the customer and the aspects of handling the knowledge transfer with them. Today we're taking our first look at shop operations. Our first area of shop operations is managing workflow. Not having enough work is admittedly a very bad thing. But having too much work and not meeting the customer's expectations is far worse for long-term business relationships. Remember in our earlier segments where we established a schedule of events with our customer and then met those as they occurred throughout the day. Well, overscheduling leads to a complete failure of those commitments and the entire system gets stressed as it breaks apart. There are many ways to control shop workflow. The key element in all of them is to understand what your shop capabilities actually are based on your technicians, the number of bays, and your ability to get the vehicles through the shop and back to the customer. This is known as throughput. Some systems use the appointment system to control the workload of the shop. Others use technician capacity to control the appointment system to govern the shop. Some shops just have a maximum number of vehicles they take in per day and manage it that way. The key to any of these is to be sure you have some record of who is coming in and what service they require. Then understand who and when the service will be completed. Remember, Parts availability plays a big role in this scheduling today. Each one of these systems has drawbacks. The important thing is to understand your system and why it is best for your shop and your customers. No system at all is the worst scenario there is, closely followed by a system that is not adhered to and monitored. Everyone needs to be in complete understanding of how your scheduling works and why it is necessary. This will go a long ways towards offering your customer the experience they are looking for and your shop the sold hours they deserve. One area that can really play havoc on your scheduling is after hours drop-offs. These vehicles can be left in many places around your property and be hard to locate. Then there's the issue of the keys. Trying to find the keys while the technician is left idle is not a recipe for success. Have a specific area for drop-offs. Be sure this area is secure and clearly marked. Places for keys to be dropped that is also secure is very important. Familiarize your customers with this process if you offer it. It can be a competitive edge for you if properly managed. All of the above procedures need to be monitored and changed as your business and customer base changes. This is not a set it and forget it topic. Continual monitoring will ensure top performance for your business and the best customer experience possible. That's all for today. Please join us next time when we discuss our second segment on shop operations. See you then and thanks for being with us.